Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is February 9th, 2024, and Barcelona have been ordered to pay 23 million euros in unpaid taxes. Also, Frankie de Jong is reportedly having doubts about staying in Barcelona and could be open to an exit during this summer transfer market. And finally, I will tell you about the five players that Barcelona consider as untouchable and are not open to the sale of any of these players. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo. And before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag. If you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you head to Bet Us, where they're currently having a special promotion for all new signups if you use my link. Both links for kit bag and Bet Us are down below in the description. Now, I'll begin with the news that the administrative chamber of the high court has ruled that Barcelona need to pay 23 million euros in unpaid taxes derived from remunerations made to sports agents between the years of 2012 to 2015. Now during those years the presidents of Barcelona were Sandro Rosé and Jose Maria Bartomeu who we already know they love to waste Barcelona's money whether it be on extremely high transfer fees way above market value or player salaries that were incredibly way above market value or even bonuses and variables to players that were also way above market value. Well, those two presidents also like to spend Barcelona's money on incredibly high bonuses for Asians and for the players' families. And now the court has ruled that Barcelona need to pay taxes on that money that the club had paid those Asians during those years. And as such, Barcelona has been ordered to pay 23 million euros now this was a decision that was upheld from a lower court which is called the central administrative court the central administrative court had already ruled that barcelona need to pay those 23 million euros barcelona appealed it to the administrative chamber of the high court and now this court has upheld the order of the lower court saying since those asians provide services to the players not to the club the money that was paid to them counts as income and therefore, Barcelona should have withheld part of the income as taxes. And as such, Barcelona owe 23 million euros. Now, Barcelona have said that they will appeal this order to the Supreme Court. And they have issued a statement where the club have said, FC Barcelona has been informed of the verdict on income tax of the national court regarding the appeal presented by the club with respect to the tax inspection concerning payments made to players agents between 2012 and 2015. Barcelona shall be presenting an appeal to the Supreme Court. This ruling does not entail any payment obligation for the club at present. This contingency being properly provisioned in the annual accounts. So it seems like this horrible legacy that Sandro Rosé and Josep Maria Bartomeu have left us is never ending with the club continuously being in trouble or having to pay for what those two crooks and thugs and criminals did. And this goes to the people who continuously say out there in the media that Barcelona should already move on from Bartomeu, should move on from Rosé, that's in the past, and now we should focus on the present. Well, I wish that was true, but unfortunately, the past keeps coming back and haunt us because that's how horrible these two presidents were to the club as a whole. And speaking of Barcelona presidents, it's reported that Jan Laporta has ruled out the hiring of Sergio Conceição as the first team's next manager. Now, as I reported previously, Sergio Conceição's contract does expire at the end of the season with Porto. And it's also reported that the manager is looking for a, a high-profile job, a job with a big club. He aspires to be a manager of a big club. And as such, his agent, Jorge Mendes, had suggested that Sergio Conceição take the job of Xavi Hernandez in the summer. But as I reported previously, Barcelona were not open to this. 
And now it seems that John Laporta has ruled this option out. Now it seems that John Laporta believes that Sergio Conceição does not feel, fit the Barcelona profile. And even though he's very thankful to Jorge Mendes for the work he has done in the incorporations of Joao Felix and Joao Cancelo and also with helping the club renew the contracts of Alejandro Valde and Lamine Yamal, Jean Laporta has told Jorge Mendes that he is not interested in having Sergio Conceição as Barcelona's next manager. Now, as we already know, Jean Laporta's favorite option, dream option is Jorgen Klopp. But as I reported yesterday, the, the manager has completely ruled himself out because he has once again assured everyone that he's not looking to manage any club, not Barcelona or anyone else because he wants his sabbatical year. He feels like he's very tired after being Liverpool coach for nine years. And John Laporta wants a, a coach from the German school of thought. So he will continue looking for those options with, some, uh, with people like Hansi Flick and Nagelsmann being on top of the list. With Sergio Conceição definitely not on that list, which is something I told you yet before, but now it has been confirmed by the Barcelona president himself, who's, who will reportedly pick Barcelona's next manager. Now on to the news that Frankie Young is reportedly having doubts about staying in Barcelona and could be open to an exit in the summer transfer market. Now this news was broken by Luis Canut. If you don't know who Luis Canut is, He's a journalist who's close to Frankie De Young's entourage. In fact, he is a very close and intimate friend of Ronald Koeman, who in turn is a very close and intimate friend of Frankie De Young himself. And in fact, it was Luis Canu who continuously defended Ronald Koeman when Koeman was Barcelona's manager. And as such, Luis Canu is a good source as far as news concerning Frankie De Young. So if Luis Canu says that Frankie De Young is having doubts, we definitely should take this news seriously. Now, the report states that Frankie de Jong is the solution with what's going on in Barcelona because when he joined in 2019, he dreamt of joining a competitive squad, a squad capable of winning the Champions League. And with all the disappointments that Barcelona have faced ever since Frankie de Jong joined, it seems that the Dutch midfielder is now having doubts about staying in Barcelona and could be open to leaving in the summer transfer market. Now when I say could be open, that means that Frankie De Jong has not made a decision yet. He has not said that he wants to leave. He has not given the green light to start hearing offers. He simply is having doubts about staying and could consider leaving in the summer. Now it's reported that Barcelona could also be open to the departure of Frankie De Jong, even though Deco would like to extend the contract of the player. But of course, if the player does not want to stay in the Barcelona, could be open to offloading him. Because after all, Barcelona need to make some big sales this summer transfer market. And they also need to remove Frankie's incredibly high salary off their books. Now, in my opinion, had you asked me two summers ago in the summer of 2022, I would have said absolutely offload Frankie de Jong. In fact, I made a video about it because up to that point, Frankie de Jong had not lived up to all the expectations since his arrival from Ajax. But ever since the arrival of Xavi Hernandez, I believe that Frankie de Jong has been key in the midfield, has been instrumental to Barcelona's uh, project. So if you ask me now, I might say, no, don't sell Frank de Jong. But of course, if the player ends up deciding he wants to leave, then there will be no other option than to sell him because the last thing you want is to keep a player who doesn't want to be there. And plus, if he does decide to leave, that would help Barcelona a lot as far as the financial fair play, whether it be through the huge fee that Barcelona could earn from his sale or also from his salary, which again, highest salary in the in Spanish league. So it would go a long way in helping Barcelona with the signing new players in the summer. But of course, I always love to hear from you. What do you guys, Bar what do you guys think Barcelona should do? Should they sell Frankie de Jong? Should they keep him? Let me know down below. And speaking of making big sales in the summer, as I reported yesterday, Barcelona will have to generate 100 million euros in order to achieve the one-to-one -one rule. 40 million of those 100 Barcelona will be able to obtain from the resale of Barca Vision, which they had initially sold a portion of it to Libero, the German investment fund, which they failed to pay the 40 million euros. Of course, Barcelona are now in negotiations with new investors so they can get those 40 million euros. But the other 60 will have to come from other sources, such as selling players or, or obtaining new sponsorship. But long story short, Barcelona will have to obtain 100 million euros 
just to achieve the one-on-one -on -one rule that doesn't count towards any new signings. So Barcelona cannot use that 100 million to sign new players. They would have to raise separate money to sign new players. So as such, Barcelona are considering making several transfers in the summer transfer market in order to generate the money to achieve the one-on-one -on -one rule and also to reinforce the pivot position amongst other positions such as the left wing. Now, having said that, Barcelona are reportedly open to hearing offers from any player. If Barcelona receive a high offer for any player, they will be forced to consider that, uh, that offer for the exception of five players. And those players are Pedri, Gabi, Ronald Araujo, Lamine Yamal, and Mark Ter Stegen. So once again, those are Gabi, Pedri, Lamine Yamal, Ronald Araujo and Marcher Stegen, those are the only five untouchable players that if Barcelona receive high offers for them, they are going to immediately reject them. But any other player on the squad is fair game. For any player that Barcelona receives a big offer, they will consider it. That doesn't mean that Barcelona will sell those players for sure. Doesn't mean that Barcelona will put these players on the market. That just means that if Barcelona receive a big offer for any other player that's not those five they will be forced to consider it. It doesn't mean that they would end up selling it. They could still decide to keep that player. But just know that the only five untouchable players on the first team are those five names. That, of course, does not include the academy team. So if you say things like, oh, what about Kuwarsi? What about Hector Four? Those are not first team players. So I'm only talking about the first team but as always i do love to hear from you guys what do you think about those five players being untouchable would you sell any of those five players would you include other players in this list let me know down below so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a like also i would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that i share with you and finally i would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, bis Barça.